First, you wanna make sure you take um, your lashes out of the case. Uh, these are your practice lashes and place them on your mannequin like you see here. Okay, so you're gonna start out by placing the eye patches underneath the eye gel eye patches. And the reason that you're doing this is because you're wanting to lay down the bottom lashes on your client. Of course, the mannequin doesn't have bottom lashes, but we're gonna pretend. We're gonna place this right under the lash and make sure it's curved around the nose so that it's covering all those lashes. All right, I'm using the medical tape so that I can tape down lashes as well. It's not saying. I also put one right here to kind of lift the lid just slightly so the lashes will be up and easier to isolate. So now we are going to isolate one lash to get ready for placement. When you're isolating, uh, once you get that lash isolated, that slight pressure that you're putting down is not harming your client because that pad is there to protect your client. So now you're gonna take your lashes out of its container, uh, make sure it's the millimeter that you want, and you're gonna place it right on your palette. Today we're using 25 millimeters because they are very large so that you can see it in the uh, camera. Typically, you're not going to want to be using these lengthy lashes on average clients because it's going to be based on the weight and the length of your and the health of your client's lashes. Now you're going to place this down for your adhesive right on your palette, unless you choose to use the ring. Be sure to shake your glue or your adhesive for 60 seconds. After you've shaken your adhesive for 60 seconds, you are going to open it and place one drop either in your ring or on there. Before you close it, you wanna press all the air out and then wipe it off. Okay. okay, so now we are going to isolate the lash. And then you're going to grab a lash. And the lash you grab, you want to put enough adhesive on it so that it will cover enough that you don't want it to be bubbled. So you go back. And you're going to apply that to the lash that you've isolated. So when you're uh, lashing, you want to make sure that, of course, you're isolating, but when you're placing the lash, you want to be sure to place the lash either on top or on the side of the lash that you're working with. As that lash that you just placed dried, you now want to switch to the other side. One reason for this is uh, if you're working on the same side where the lash is drying, it may not dry fast enough and it'll mess up your placement. Another reason, if you're working your way through on both lashes, you can kind of uh, measure how many lashes you've laid. And if they have to get up and leave for whatever reason, they, their eyes are even. So you want to make sure you're placing between eyes. Now, once you get faster, you can work however you want to. But in the beginning, you want to start working both eyes.
And then if your lash starts to lean, you just want to stand it back up. When lashing, it may be easier to use a magnifying glass uh, if you have vision issues or anything like that. That way you can really see what you're doing. Or uh, you can use the, it's like a kind of band with a magnifying glass over it that you would put on your head or face. And it, it helps as well because it just brings it closer and you're able to isolate a little better. Okay, let's do a couple more and then I'll show you how to remove them. Your glue or adhesive, whatever kind you're using, you need to know that it is only good for about 15 minutes. Uh, after that, it's gonna get a little tacky, so you're not gonna be able to work with it. So then you're gonna have to place another drop of glue in order to continue. Uh, now keep in mind, you will have to shake it again, but this time about 15, 20 seconds. Okay, so when you're placing the lashes, you want to place them close, but not on the lash line. Close enough to where they look natural, but not on the lash line. So if you feel like you're close or touching the lash line, move it slightly forward because you don't want to irritate the eye. 